Hi, I hope you're doing okay. This is going to be a bit different to the kind of thing I normally do because I don't know if I'd say I pride myself on the level of commentary that I provide, but I definitely just talk all the time. And I don't want to do that with this game. This game needs some space at times, so I will be speaking. But less than I've maybe ever spoken in my life. I love this game but I've only played about 30% of it. And I don't really know all that much about it. But everything I do know, I love so much that I have no excuse for not having played it yet. And I figure it's finally time to, you know? But this is gonna be an emotionally difficult thing. So between that and a reduced commentary, I'm gonna keep it off my stream and on my YouTube, I think. Nothing feels like these games. So many things try to. So many things try to sound like this soundtrack and nothing gets close. It's just so much itself. Mary, could you really be in this town? So, seem to be looking for Mary. It's probably not going to be in the men's bathroom, but who knows. We should probably hope she isn't, because it's kind of a mess in here. What does that say? I can't quite read the graffiti. Some kind of creature up there in that graffiti. Oh. And I'm stuck. It's been a long time since I played a game with controls this dated as well. I know it's a deliberate thing, to some extent at least with this. Tank controls can be stressful. More so probably when you're this far out of practice with them. I'm just gonna have to see how much of a problem it causes for me. Or more specifically, I In guess, my restless dreams. for James. I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said, Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Alive from Silent Hill. It's Mary's alive. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what that was. So already just an immediately iconic opening, in a way that, again, nothing else really feels like. I think one of the things I've pieced together about myself over the past however many years is that I don't like too many literal details and stuff. 
and I recently saw The Shining for the first time, and I think that hits a sweet spot for the amount of plot details it puts in and the amount it leaves you to kind of make your own sense of. It's far more interactive for that as a film, as an experience, like it's so much more engaging, you know? To me, personally, and I, I think it's why I love Twin Peaks, and I think it's why I love Silent Hill, and I think it's why I've always kind of been fascinated by it, because things don't make sense, and they're not trying to pretend that they do, they're not trying to tie them together. It just exists as itself, you know? Oh, it might actually be easier to do this with the D-pad. And that's saying something, because this is a busted Xbox 360 for Windows pad with its infamously terrible, giant, single-block plastic D-pad. I'm just gonna learn to walk, don't worry. I think it's potentially even part of the intended experience. And there's definitely nothing too out of place canon, lore-wise, about a little disorientation. But let's move along a little bit faster, hopefully. I'll try not to bump into every little bit of geometry along the way. No promises. If it needs addressing, I suppose it might be of curiosity to somebody. This is the PS2 version, not the HD collection. They really fucked that thing up. They did themselves no favours with that. I say that, they probably did make money off it, but... Everything involved with the development of that HD collection just seems sad. Especially after the MGS one, which was so good, you know? But they had proper resources for that, which they seemingly didn't for this. But the fact that they would go so far as to re-record the voice acting, and I don't know if that's because they lost the original, I know they did delete a lot of source code. Not that audio files are necessarily only source code. I would have hoped they'd have other backups, but they did redo the voice acting for the main characters. They put Troy Baker in there, because everything has to have Troy Baker in. There are scenes in this which are so unbelievably perfect as they were, and they no longer are. But they will be in this version, so that's okay. Just, people love to talk about the fog as, you know, a technical limitation that kind of ended up becoming a mechanic, and, you know, there is a parity there, and it's nice, but there's more to this fog. This isn't just fog to cover up view distance. This is straight up dense all over everything fog, and it really works. It's surprising they could get fog effects this good back then. Hearing a lot of dogs, it's a little bit troubling. So I've been having a not so great time myself. I was relying on pretty much one person, I guess, at the end of the day. To provide most of my comfort media. I don't know if I was taking it for granted, I was just very used to every day watching something one person had done. And they've just up and completely stopped. It's gone from every day to nothing because of some drama in their life. And the way that they've handled it has kind of left me feeling alienated in a way that means I can't even really go back to stuff they've done in the past and get those same feelings out of it. So I've just been at a bit of a loose end. Which is potentially part of why I'm actually doing this myself. So we're through the gate. This looks graveyardy. Graveyardy, of course, the um, very famous surname of the blue bird from the Space Fox game by the Nintendo people. Hmm. Ghost?
Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I... I oh, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Oh, I just poured coffee all over myself. Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the, the right fuck? way? They have um, like a proper... Yeah. Uh, play it's hard movie to drinking see with this fog, but oh my there's God. only the one road. You can't miss it. I'm just Thanks. gonna stew in this, I guess. I don't know. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for... someone. Who... who... who is it? Someone... very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. See, this is a type of voice acting that I've heard criticized in places, and I've also seen it correctly defended. The criticisms of it seem to stem from a general mentality that dialogue in something should be like believable or plausible as real in the real world. And I really just don't connect with that as a mindset. Partially because I think the most convincing acting that feels the most realistic actually isn't. It's very, very cleverly performative in ways that don't resemble real life. But also because I don't think that should just be the accepted default for what dialogue should be in media properties, you know? It's like trying to do a drawing of somebody and make it photorealistic. You can do it and it'll be phenomenally impressive. It might be less expressive. Not even necessarily less expressive, but whatever you would have got across with a different approach to that drawing is lost. And you have something else instead, and the same would be true with this. If those lines were less kind of unsettling and awkward, They'd be less unsettling and awkward, you wouldn't feel as awkward and unsettled, I don't know. Did I just go back the way I came? Thinking I did. I have a run button. I do have a run button, okay. Time to get some mileage out of the run button. It is the other way, huh? I think? See, this is the true function of the fog. Hides where you've been as much as it hides where you're going. And with the way the cameras work, it's it's gonna be giving me some difficulties. Given that this is YouTube, I can kind of cut around if I can be bothered editing anything that comes out of this attempt at this game. So I suppose it's not the end of the world if I get lost for ages, because I can potentially even pretend it didn't happen, though I wouldn't do that. You know me, I'd at least acknowledge it. Breathe, James. Headbutt that door. 
think you meant to knock with your hands, but the end result is the same. A percussive thumping, loud enough to be heard inside the building should anybody inside feel like letting you in. That is, of course, if there even is anybody inside. I have my doubts. starting to feel like I did have the right direction, and I turned away and now I'll never find it again. Follow the left wall, here we go. Um, I mean, I hope he's right about it not actually being a letter from his wife, because if she does need his help, she will have starved to death by the time he finds her anyway. Maybe this is backtracking, maybe it's not. It's not. Some kind of... square in a well. There's something in the well. What's this? Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. It gives me a weird feeling. The red square in the well fills you with determination. Nice. Forest 010. I will confess I'm not sure what the riddle difficulty affects. I left both difficulties on normal. I almost wanted to put the combat difficulty on easy because in my limited experience with this game in the past, I think it only really translates to hitting the things more times before they go down, which, you know, I give developers the benefit of the doubt generally, but I don't think that needing to hit things a bunch of times actually enhances the psychological distress that they're trying to kind of put on the player. If anything, it almost has the opposite effect, where it's overly gamified to me, and I'm like, come on, why would they put these damage values in? And then I'm slipping away from what it is I'm trying to connect with, you know, and what I think it's attempting to do. But we'll see. I don't know if it can be... Oh, well, there's some kind of dog next to me. That's uncomfortable. Um, I don't know if it can be changed after the fact. Which is a worry. I will not lie, that's a concern. But we'll see. Uh oh, these noises aren't fun though. It's, these aren't fun noises. I don't want to run because I don't want to just ball off the path and crash into a tree and then respawn my rally car like 20 meters back on the track. I need this gold. I can't see which way I'm facing. Oh god. What the? Ah, ah. Please. Making record time on this fog walk. I wonder how many playthroughs of this people have filmed and referenced making record time on this fog walk. Even just in general, in playing this game, on or off recording. How much Ned Flanders fog walk referencing has been done? I truly am, well actually, I'm definitely not making record time on this fog walk unless I'm setting the record for longest fog walk of all time. I think even the devs would be surprised and disappointed at how long this has taken me. I don't want to move forwards because I feel like if I move forwards it's going to go to the previous screen. See that's a mindfuck right there, when you got to go forwards to go backwards. This, this second person perspective is kind of messed. It's very deliberate, it's very considered, I'm not criticizing it, but it's definitely... It necessitates wrapping my head around it. In a way that they're aware of, I'm sure. It's all just in the disorientation. Drive away, James. There's nothing else worth taking, not even yourself. Okay. So did I just backtrack all the way up here? Needlessly. Because I have a nasty feeling I did. 
This is the road I came in on, there's no point in going back. Why couldn't you say that when I started going backwards? Well, since we're back in Rome, and I've since interacted with some stuff, let's go press A on some, sorry, X. Let's go press some official PlayStation X button on some things in the bathroom in case. Hello, I'm here for your best interactions. Can I urinate? No, could I look at myself in the mirror? Not in an interactable manner, but I can indeed, at least, peep myself, and I'm looking okay. Got a little bit of the old dead wife going on, but, but I'm trying. Hmm. Yes, this doesn't look right either. Can't go any further by car, I guess I'll have to walk. It says, we come. Paleville National Park. Okay. Well, I guess we're not going to Paleville National Park today. Sorry, kids. Anything? Anything? Well, if you somehow stumbled upon this video, and for whatever reason you still have it open, welcome to my life. This is what happens. I spend at least 60% of it going backwards. We have an exciting time here at the Commiseration Zone, as we gently contemplate renaming it something more appropriate, like the Regression Zone. Run, James. I know, you're going to get out of breath, I'm sorry. I'm wasting everyone's time. Not least of all yours. So use those little legs, man. Don't worry about the dog noises, they're, they trigger every time you run past here. It's like a, it's like a Halloween spook. It's a haunted house. Pay it no mind. Just, just, just keep running, don't worry. Here he goes. Weird elbows. I love... There's something so, like, plausible. About... So I just missed the save well on the way up. That wasn't good. There's something so plausible about his run cycle. It seems so kind of... Just weak, I guess. Clumsy, it's really nice. Alright, just just go just go forwards. Okay, follow the water's edge. I followed the water's edge to its end. It's the same fucking gate. Are you are you serious? So I think I even did go the right way once, then went back, then found the wrong way, then followed the wrong way all the way to its end, then came all the way back, and now I think this is the right way again. It's hard to tell, because it doesn't really look meaningfully different, but... I don't like the footsteps over there. I do not like the footsteps over there. But that's okay. We got this little wall now, we got Hadrian's wall, let's go. Something about that... That quote about going back to Silent Hill. It's like I went back to see you there or whatever, I forget the exact wording. It reminds me so much of Mount Airy in ways that just break my heart. From I think in like 2004 when he had lyrics, so I, I went back to be alone there, or something, talking about a specific place, and then after his wife died of cancer recently, he reused the line, um, and I guess potentially did go back to the place he was talking about, but the different context on went back to be alone there, 
like it wasn't that like he wasn't choosing to be alone. It was just where he was going to be while he was alone, rather than where it had initially been a decision to be alone. It is a bit much for me. It's difficult. Anyway, what's this? The Lon Lon Ranch? The Silent Hill Ranch. Can I get in here? No opponent for me. So I'm told this game takes about eight hours. There is no way I'm getting this shit done in eight hours. I don't think I'm going to be out of this initial fog walk within the first eight hours. I've only backtracked once yet. It's going to happen more than I forward track. In all likelihood. But that's okay because as much as this game is kind of horrifying and unsettling, it's also weirdly comfy, it's weirdly relaxing. I don't know if it's just in the solace from those moments because I do think there's a middle ground. I don't think it's only comfy when it's not fucked up. I think it's always fucked up and it's frequently comfy despite that in a way that almost feeds off it. It's really just a fascinatingly compelling piece of work. This, like, I love this game. And one of these days, it's gonna start. Ooh, look at that one. Tires. Don't bash your head on the fence, man. He only ever does that when he's within proximity to damage himself. I need to give him more open space when he needs to catch his breath. I'm gonna CTE the poor boy before we've even encountered any enemies. I like his walk cycle too. There's like an almost I don't, delusional confidence isn't the word. It's like he's, you know when someone whistles because they're in like, you know when Luigi whistles because he's in Luigi's mansion and he's afraid. It's kind of what this walk cycle is. He's like, I'm not scared. I'm confident. Yes, Henny. Come on. Look at him walk. Did I have a door on my right? I could have explored the... You remember what I just said about backtracking? James disagrees. <laughs> James has had it up to here with my shit. Oh god, he's coming for me. Okay. I should try moving around like this in my real life. Like, IRL tank controls. Might be good for my sciatica, who knows. This man is clearly a posture god right now, I mean... So upright. How high up am I? I feel like I'm on the side of a skyscraper. Hello, Mary, Cheryl, Sean. Jason. I keep seeing like monsters in the fog, but it's just my eyes. take this brief foggy opportunity to say I hope you're doing okay I don't want to view the fact that you are on YouTube videos of Silent Hill 2 as anything necessarily indicative of you not being okay but I do also think there's a decent chance So if you're not, I hope you feel better soon. 
and it might not feel like it, but I believe you will. Not based on nothing. Chemically. Everything, you know, everything comes around. It might go again. But it does kind of come back around. Chemically, circumstantially. There's always a lot more going on than you're ever able to keep track of, you know? And some of that, I think, is good. Though I can't pretend I do a halfway decent job of being okay myself. Yeah, go on, breathe on the trash. Get it all out, son. There he goes. I presume these areas don't get revisited later on. After the game's kind of opened up a bit. Don't go too far, I don't know where I am. Oh no, it's all open now and I don't I don't know if I went the right way or not. Stop. Just having a little breathe, you know how it is. Uh oh. Are these marks blood? Is that Mary? That shadow just now. Mary. Hello? I'm not sure that was Mary. More blood, huh? Yeah, breathe on it. That'll help. Huh. I'm coming, Elizabeth. The fog really is freaky. I keep thinking I'm about to run into a wall. It's like I see uh, just an opaque block in it coming at me and then it was all in my head. I don't know if there's any actual like stamina penalty or whatever for running or if the panting is just Effectively superfluous. Superficial panting. I don't want to be tiring the boy out too much if it's going to get him killed, you know? How did they design this in a way that the player feels so lost, but is also kind of being guided? put on the right path. It's definitely impressive. I say that brazenly presuming myself to be on what is the right path. Oh yeah, no, I think it is. There's definitely something afoot. As we all know, radio static is a good thing in the Silent Hill universe. It is the grand indication of life. Truly the vital sound. the fighting controls. Oops. Okay, you just you just fly a lair in the tunnel for a bit. I'm gonna take a look at the map. 
I'm not actually. I do need to know the controls though. Okay, so that's some kind of... Okay, I see, I see, I see. Right trigger and A. I mean, R2 and X. Sorry. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. That was Mary James. What have you done? You can give it a couple more wax. Go on, lad. I believe in you. Maybe he can't. Oh. Dead. Could it have been that creature? What's going on in this town? What's dead? I can't even see that. Is that a dead person? I think there might be a dead person there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This thing broken? Come to S Ting F. I'll try. I better take yeah, it anyway. I might need it. Okay. So, I did accidentally discover I can do like this kind of. Oh, well, I can do this. But I can also do this rocket line type thing. Da 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 I got the cane and everything. Sorry, the monster has taken what little remained of James's mind. Now he just wants to dance. So that's useful. Because having to turn all the way around very slowly is pretty poor. You know, in raw survivability terms, it's not what you're looking for. In a town of open 3D spaces, this is a godsend. Look at him go. What you looking at, boy? A health drink, huh? Maybe? Beer? Health drink. That's actually what they're called. Sick. It's nice of him to look at items, because I sure as hell can't see him. Another one. Oh, and a save point. I do wish to overwrite. Well, that took 29 minutes. I wonder how long it takes a speedrunner to get here. Oop. Well, we've officially infiltrated the town, at least to some extent. There's buildings and stuff. Yeah, we're definitely in Silent Hill now. It's happening. Things are about to get pretty horrible, probably. But for now, it's all good. You know, we got the table. We got the table that makes the creepy save game noise when we go near it and press the X button. And that's all we could really ask for. That's all anyone could ask for out of their own life, I think. There will be more Silent Hill. But until there is, and even after there is, look after yourself.